welcome back to my channel. How are you today? So, this is the first time that I won't be painting on this channel. Well, not the first time, I do vlogs, but using a totally different medium, I'm actually creating something. So, I'm excited and nervous, <laughs> but anyway, we are going to make some mermaid molds. So, I showed you these in my other a video these came out like so perfect I am just just in awe I'm like this is my first try so it's the resin and just like really following directions you know you really have to with resin um, it just it is what it is um, last night I made another one but using my other um, resin the, what is it called? The art something. I forget. It's in the other room. Uh, what happened was it was actually really cold. There's another resin called Art Resin, and they have, you can get emails uh, from them, and they give you tips. And it said cold weather, uh, tips for doing resin in cold weather. And I said, you know what, let me finally look at it, because I never read it, and because I wasn't really doing it, I didn't really, wasn't making molds, I wasn't doing anything, really. I just resin two of my pieces, so I, I, I read it, and it said, you know, if it is cold, um, you will never get, it will never not become clear. So basically, there's like microscopic air bubbles in there, uh, when it's too cold and that's exactly what happened last night um, So I wound up throwing it out. Um, it just it not not this um, uh, Resin it was the other one. And I was like wow, okay, it was really really thick And so what I did was I took my own advice and listened to directions and I put both of the resins in my kitchen which is much warmer um, in there so yeah and also I read uh, that you can if your resin is very cold and, it, and it's not flowing you can give it a bath so you could take warm water like a little tub of warm water and just you know stick it in make sure that the cap is on you don't want water getting into it however when you do that so this is really important because um, I try to pick resins that a have a low odor and B, have a long work time, meaning that it does not start curing for like 30 to 45 minutes. So you can like play around with it, you could add stuff to it. You know, you kind of want to do that because you don't want to immediately start curing. So when you actually give it a bath and you warm it up that much, you lose a lot of that time. So those 45 minutes that you may have had to work with it, let's say you're resonating, um, a painting okay and the pa painting happens to be let's say larger like this or much much bigger um, you're gonna have 10 minutes to finish it so um, that is something to look out for as well um, so I would rather instead of giving it a bath and, and lose time to work um, I'd rather just put it in a warmer spot so but you know just letting you guys know that information so um, yeah so I used the other resin last night and I just wanted to see how the uh, micas uh, mixed in now this is not ready to be uh, you know uh, taken out yet it's still um, and also they said that if it is colder that it's gonna take a longer time to cure but this is nice and no bubbles or anything I just wanted to see how the mica um, mixed in with the resin because I never did it before so I just like to try stuff out so when I do it with you guys um, you know and like I said I obviously am a newbie um, more information I get I'm gonna give it to you guys that have also maybe never did this or you know yeah, never did it before either, and you want to start getting into it, I like to uh, share info. Okay, that's because that's how I learned. I learned by watching all you guys out there who do resin on a regular. So, so what I did was, when I made these three, and then I had a little extra left over, um, I filled it up to, I know you can't see it, where is it? 
the first line here, which is uh, 20. Okay, I know you can't see that. I can barely see it. Um, I am still figuring out how much to um, pour to make these three here. So I have no idea. So I know it took uh, up to that line to make these three that I had a little extra with the 20 mark. So I think I am going to mix between, um, I'm going to say 30, 35. Okay, so I'm going to go off now and mix up to, I think it's, I can't even read it, I think this is 40, I'm going to look at it, and I'm going to mix a little bit more, if, if I have a little too much, that's fine, um, not a big deal, um, yeah, so I'm going to mix a little more than I think I need, because I really don't know, so as I go along, I'm going to figure out how much you know, to mix, because once the res both parts are mixed, you got to get started to get to work, okay? That's that's the deal here. You're on a time limit. Um, and I picked these three beautiful colors. These are the micas. I don't know, for some reason, I'm really, really into greens. I'm usually not, but these greens are, like, really capturing me. This is called Lettuce Green. So that's one of the colors I'm going to be using uh, today, and I will explain in a second. This is called Bubble Bath. This beautiful little pink here. And I think this is Sapphire Blue, yeah. And this is Sapphire Blue. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to pour, um, like I said, 35 maybe, whatever, 40. Uh, half and half so I'm going to take one pour it in here the other one pour it in there then I'm going to pour both in this cup and start stirring now once I start stirring I'm going to go off camera and do that and then come back when it's done because it's going to take me at least 10-15 minutes and I doubt very much if you'd want to sit here and watch me stir a cup of resin for 10 to 15 minutes <laughs> okay then what I'm going to do is from this cup, I'm going to pour what I have here, I'm going to split it into three uh, cups. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm going to add the three colors. Okie dokie. So I'm going to be a little, try to be a little creative. Maybe I'll, um, you know, put some one color in here, another color in there. We'll see. And then um, I have my cute little spoon for the mica. And I have my tweezers just in case if I need them. I have the three mixing spoons for each individual color. And I have all the things I do have. I, you know, I just started collecting uh, stuff. I, um, I, I'm sure you know this already. This is from my Primal Flow subscription kit. And my next one should be arriving probably like maybe the 10th or so, something like that, I believe. 10th, 11th, something like that. I can't wait for that. I know, right? Like, I need any more of anything. Um, but I love to experiment. I love to try new things. And it keeps my creativity flowing when I do that. So the investment is really great for me um, to do. Yes, I don't know if I'm going to be using this. these. I may not. I may just be using the micas. But I just have them out just in case. I got my gloves ready, I got my torch ready, and you definitely need uh, something that I did not mention, but I'm sure a lot of you know, you need a silicone mat, which I already had, and I got these two off of Amazon, um, both of them together was about seven, eight dollars. I know they have huge ones, and probably much better quality, whatever, um, but they're like forty dollars, so you know what, when I first started um, pouring, I said, well, you know, these two together are perfect, and then what I do is I usually just kind of like lay them together, and I put my grid underneath, and they've been fine. They are perfectly fine, so um, I don't think I need a $40 silicone mat. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am going to go off right now. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. I'm always getting ahead of myself. I just wanted to show you real quick how this dried. This is the um, the Pouring Masters with the um, Liquitex, and it dried perfectly. You know, real quick, I'm not getting long-winded with it. It dried perfectly. It's glossy, um, not ultra ultra glossy, but look, it's it's it dried very pretty. So I am happy with that. All right, 
So I'm going to go off. I am going to uh, measure out my resin. And then, yeah, you'll see me just pour it into that cup. I'll go off. Stir, stir, stir. Like I said, you don't want to watch that. And then uh, I'll come back and we'll uh, make some some nice uh, mermaid tails today. And this, um, I'm, I've been dying to use a, a slightly bigger one, a nice oval uh, mold. Okay, I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. So I have my coffee. Now I don't probably, I could be able to see the mark because I can barely see it. I don't want to tip it too much. So what I did was I just poured each part. Okay, the resin and the hardener. Whoops, sorry. This cord is gonna be a pain today. And uh, the hardener in their own little, little quote unquote beakers okay so I am gonna move this coffee out of the way all right and I'm just gonna pour it okay I can move that out of the way now and I usually put pour the resin in first so If this core gets in the way, I apologize because usually I don't talk too much while I'm actually making, uh, when I'm painting, but today is different. So if this core gets in the way, I do apologize. I do have another mic and I didn't get it out. So I'm just going to pour all that in here. And that's the resin. Okay. All right. That should be good. Okay. Now, this is the hardener. Once this starts, you're on the clock, so. I'm on the clock. All right. So like I said, I actually measured up to 40, um, double what I did the last time, because I just want to make sure I have enough. Like I said, if I, if I have extra, I could always go off and I have these mini paintings, the um, four by fours. I have some of them that I don't really like. And maybe if I resin, I'll like them more. So, uh, yeah. I have other things that I could resin. Maybe I could use another one of the molds. But they may be too big. I may not have enough for that. So, we'll see. But me, I always like... But I'll, I'll figure it out. Like, as I go, I'll figure out how much... Um, you know, I need for one mold. If I need for three, I'll figure that out as I go. But yeah, right now I don't know because I'm really new at this, so I don't know how much each uh, little mold uh, uh, holds, you know, how much resin I need for each mold. But I will be figuring that out as I go. Alright, so, now, stir, 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 alright, so we're going to stir, now I learned this from and then scrape, scrape, see how it's cloudy? But it's gonna get clear. And then scrape the bottom. I learned that from Mixed Media Girl. You know, she stirs, stirs, and then she scrapes, scrapes, and scrapes the bottom. And you keep doing that, okay? Stir. See, it's getting clear already, but it's very normal to be cloudy at first. But I could see already. See, it's getting clear. Okay. 
and then scrape, 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 and there's a truck outside, of course there is. <laughs> See, wow, it's getting clear already. Alright, so I am going to go off, and I am, thank you truck for making so much noise. It wouldn't be one of my videos if, it, if there wasn't a truck or an ambulance, right? So I am going to go off, and I am going to continue. Yeah, this resin's much better than the other one. Uh, see, I already, so, um, and then scrape, scrape, scrape the bottom, and just keep doing this. So I'm going to go off right now, and I am going to continue, because, again, like I said, you don't want to watch me do this for 10, 15 minutes, okay? So I will be back in a minute. Well, 10 for, 10 for me and a second for you, okay? <laughs> See you in a sec. Okay guys, I am back and I also solved my little cord problem. I literally wrapped it around my neck. <laughs> and as soon as I said about an ambulance, an ambulance passed by. So you guys missed all of the action. All right, so this is clear. Uh, I accidentally dropped a little pink mica in there. That is funny, I opened up all my little mica colors and they all do come with these little seals on them. So I just took those off already because they're literally brand new. Alrighty, so I am going to just start pouring into each one. I'm going to try to make it as even as possible. I mean, it doesn't make a difference really if I have more than one color than another. Alrighty. That. And, that. and this really doesn't create a lot of bubbles. I'll be honest with you. The bubbles dissipated. The air bubbles. Um, when I when I say bubbles, I mean air bubbles. So excuse me. Um, it settles down really fast. It becomes clear really fast. So the other one, I'm sorry, I forgot the name of it. It's in my other video. I just mentioned it in my. Uh, um, my last video, okay, and someone said not to scrape the bottom because I remember seeing another video, so I'm gonna listen to that and just like let it drip out, okay, I guess it could be residue on the bottom that has not been uh, mixed properly, because you know, you, sometimes you can't, I do scrape, 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 but um, yeah, all right, so let's get started with that. All righty, so let's put that down. I have no idea how much mica to put in, so we're going to test it out. I'm just going to put a nice chunk in there and then see. Okay, we'll use this spoon and we'll see how bright it is. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. And if I need more, I need more. Just a nice heaping tiny spoonful. I hope I don't lose that little cute spoon. That's really adorable. So let's just mix that in really well. And I drip some. That's why you wear gloves. All right. Ch -ch -ch. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Get it all in there. And that's really pretty. Gorgeous. All right. Okay. On to the next color. I am using my shirt to clean it off. Don't come for me. <laughs> That's why I wear um, clothes I can get dirty. I don't use an apron or anything like that. Okay. Get that one up. I don't know if I need more of this one because it's a lighter color, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's see. Okay. Let's get 
sunlight off, clear that off. And that's beautiful. This one's called bubble bath. That literally looks like bubble bath, like if you pour it at the soap. That literally looks like bubble bath. How beautiful that is. Wow. I am really happy that I got these micas. Um, I have not tried the Primal Full Mica yet. I just have the one that came with my kit. It's that pumpkin. I mean, I tried, I sprinkled it on my little, um, I think I sprinkled some of my little owl uh, cutout that I got. But I have not tried it. Um, yeah, I have not tried it in uh, the resin yet. So that should be good. All right. I'm scrape my little. All right, and clean this guy up. Okay, and a nice heaping. I am going to use a little. I don't think I need to, but all right. And. that spoon off and let's get a stirring okay yeah, this is a lot of fun um, like I said in many of my videos that I love science and art have always been my two favorite um, subjects and I should have went into, actually I would have probably done very well into chemistry as well. Um, I always loved sciences, earth science, geology, uh, astronomy. That was hard class in college. Not astrology, astronomy. Um, but yeah, I, I just love, especially like earth science and Actually, photography, uh, my favorite part of that photography class was actually mixing the chemicals up. I'll be honest with you, I could care less about taking the pictures. I like the more technical parts of it, I guess, like um, actually developing the film and stuff. So I could care less about taking the photographs, I'll be honest with you. I liked everything that uh, went into it to do it, so... This is a gorgeous color. This is just beautiful. This is the lettuce green, I believe. Yeah. Wow, that's gorgeous. All right. So that part is done. And I am super, super happy with that. Okay. So I will be right back. I'm going to move these out of the way. And I'm going to get the molds out here. Okay? I will... Whoops! I will be back in one second, guys. Okay, I am back. We got our three molds. All right, we have a little time. So I was pretty fast in doing this. I'm just gonna mix this one a little bit more. This color is just, I mean, all of them. I mean, all of them are gorgeous. This kit does come with a lot of different like metallics, obviously like golds and silvers. Um, many variations of um, yeah of the uh, same color all right so what should we do I feel like mixing a little bit so hmm all right I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna sit down for a second okay because I need to see what the heck I'm doing. All right. Okay. Sorry if I'm being quiet. You're used to me talking so much. I just want to concentrate on what I'm doing here. And now I'm just going to do the tail. Just pretty bubble bath pink. that now let it just settle in a little bit oh wow it just see how beautifully it blends a little bit oh. 
We got a little bit on the mole, that's fine. up here All right. okay I'm actually gonna move it a little bit with my there we go I want to get it all on that tail there but not go over You're seeing me literally experiment right now, so this is new for me. Okay, that is done. I'm not moving that suck. Well, I'm gonna move it a little bit. All right, you get out of here for a second. Well, this... Okay, beautiful. I love how that blended right there. That is so freaking cool. Okay. We are going to do this gorgeous green. I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot left over, so I may run and get another mold real quick. That's okay. Like I said, I really don't know. I'm like totally experimenting here. I have no idea how much resin I need per mold. I'm going to pour a little down here. All right. And I think I'm going to do this again with the pink tail. I want that to settle. This is self-leveling. So, yeah. You don't have to, like, tip it or anything. Oh, I'm definitely going to have a lot extra... Like I said, it's okay. I'm just going to run and get another mold after I do this one here. Okay. Alright. Now, what? I guess I'll use all three, right? I'll use all three colors, guys. Hope you can see all this well. Okay. So. Maybe I won't have a lot left over after this, but who knows. Okay. Well, I may not have anything left over. See how high that is. Okay. And I may not have enough to do another big one, so that's the problem. But that's all good. Okay. Actually, I still have room to do a little more. That's good because I don't want to go over it like I did the other one. Um, let's see a little bit more there. Let it level. Yeah, remember you should definitely make sure your surface. I already checked my um, table that it was level. Um, I'm gonna go run and get another mold. I really don't know if I'm gonna have enough for that, but give me two seconds and I will be right back. Okay. All right, guys, I am back. I got um, the next, because the other molds are too big, and I probably will not have enough. And hopefully, I have enough for this guy. And maybe I will add some um, these clear glass pieces. All right. So we shall see. I'm going to take some out. Okay. 
And I'm gonna put that, we'll see. Maybe I'll put it in this one, but I don't know. All right, that's why I have everything out because I have no idea what I feel like doing. And this is all spur of the moment. Okay, now let's move this little guy out of the way. Let's move this. Please don't. Alrighty. <laughs> okay. Let's see. definitely have enough which is awesome because I would hate to um, waste it because it's so pretty and you know resin is uh, not cheap to say the least I mean this one is very affordable like I said um, a 16 ounce kit was about $25 and then I got it I have uh, Amazon Prime so um, yeah, free shipping. So it was worth it to me. And I love this. Very cool. You know what? I'm not going to put any glass in it right now. I just want to... Um, I think it's as pretty as it is. I want to try to use this all up because I do have room in the mold. And yeah. Oh, I'm so happy that I didn't have to throw this out. Or I, you know, I had enough for all of them. That's great. So now I know. I actually, for 40, I could do all these. Beautiful. And I had more than enough. So I'm going to add a little more to that. I am having way too much fun. You know what? I'm going to add... Come on, you. Really? I'm going to do this with my finger. of glass in them just for the heck of it and I'm gonna pour a little bit more on top so it's like inside I don't know probably Kay won't be able to see it but I just want to like experiment like I said this is all new for me and this is a lot of fun and that's it scrape some up this I think I could, it's okay for me to scrape it because I had already mixed it That is it. All right, so I will be back in a minute, and we'll just, um, I'll yeah, I'll just say goodbye, and you know, we'll see how uh, we'll see how this uh, turns out and how it um, all dries, and then tomorrow I will show. You. So I'll be right back, and hold on a second, guys. Hey guys, I literally forgot to torch it, imagine. I mean, and the reason why I forgot is because there's no bubbles, like seriously. So, let's just gently, I looked at my torch, I'm like, oh, really? You're gonna forget like a really important part? So, keep it away from the mold. It should be on low, but go. I'm like, I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm like, wow, are you really going to forget a very important part? That's amazing. <laughs> Again, yeah. Keep, yeah, you have to get much farther away than um, 
like say you were like in a painting because you don't want to burn the mold you don't want to because it I actually like my I did it over here on this one the first time and like I saw flames I'm like oh I'm a little too uh, close so yeah and there's really no bubbles I mean you could see that it's very clear there's no air bubbles so pretty and this is a lot of fun I mean wow the another truck hello um, yeah the choices are endless with the colors I mean the color combinations I just you know I always start small when I start anything new I um, actually had a smaller kit I guess it was an eight ounce kit so you get like four ounces of each but I'm like you know what I'm, I'm a slightly used to resin now and let me get like a slightly bigger kit because I don't want to invest too much if like you know the resin isn't good but it got very I did I do look at reviews and I got really it got pretty good reviews I'm gonna be honest with you so I love this Arteza um, mica I think it's gorgeous I mean Arteza always has um, wonderful wonderful products and yeah and you know I'm not sponsored by any of these companies this is just my honest um, a review and even if I was sponsored I'd tell the truth anyway if this product sucked I would say it sucked you know what I mean but honestly and I give my reviews on here um, on all products uh, whether they ask for or not but you know um, I don't want any of you guys wasting money on products that uh, really are subpar okay so yeah anyway I think these came out beautiful and they look pretty good so tomorrow or the next day um, you know like I said if I had um, let's say like jewelry making um, stuff I, I would like around 8 to 10 hours I would put a little piece in there to make a keychain or something but I don't have anything that like that because I'm just starting out you know I want to start slow and start off with the mold but I love these I am obsessed with these molds and these two I just I love these shapes I think it's amazing so that is it for today guys I hope you enjoyed and um, tomorrow you know I will like I said eight to ten hours they're touchable you can like it won't leave any fingerprints it will not be sticky so honestly, by tomorrow, I could actually unmold them probably. You know, it'll be a nice, good 24 hours. Um, yeah. So maybe we'll unmold them tomorrow if they are, you know, if they're um, ready. Okay. And that is it. And then tomorrow we'll probably do a painting. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet, but I will figure that out. So guys, thank you so, so much for joining me today me experimenting uh, with resin and actually doing this on the channel for the first time. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.